Hey guys, welcome back to Snow Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and I thought I'd just chat today. <laughs> um, quick warning, Jesse's here. He's in his bedroom right now listening to music. But also, there's a fan right there in our window blowing air in because it's hot here today. It's in the 70s. It might even be close to the 80s today. Um, but I just did like a sample to see how loud it is, and I don't think it's annoying. The only way it would be annoying is if your speakers or something might be messed up, in which case I can't help that anyways. So if the sound is off, it's definitely probably your speakers or headphones because I always edit my sound to be loud on most devices. Anyways, with that being said, uh, hi <laughs> and welcome back. I got some finished objects that I just wanted to share. Um, because all this hoo-ha and stress is going on, I don't really feel like crocheting anything in particular and like doing like actual episode and stuff I'm just trying to be more relaxed and uh what is going on with my shirt right there we string <laughs> but so I'm just crocheting what I want to crochet and not working on stuff I don't want to work on and just chilling <laughs> so I was a little late or behind on messages and um comments and stuff I did get caught up on the comments on this channel right before I film started filming this and then I gotta go over to my other channel and do the same thing and I did read all of them. I mostly just hearted them uh, to let people know that I read them. I responded to the ones I needed responding to. And I'm going to try to stay caught up. <laughs> just been so out of it this last week that I haven't even really been on YouTube at all. But uh, yeah, so I'm caught up. And then I do have some emails I need to uh, respond to. And then I will be all good. I have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> but yeah, I just got my hair kind of clamped on top of my head. So it looks a little weird. But that's okay. But anyways, I got some finished objects. So I did share a picture of this on the Facebook group and on my Instagram when I started it. And it is a bag. I shared the bottom part. <laughs> and um, it's a market bag. So I did finish it. Here it is. It turned out really big. I like it though. At first I thought it was going to turn out huge. But um, once I finished it, it's worked out perfectly, I think. So there it is. And I made this with the yarn that I was gifted. It's cotton yarn. Premier Home Cotton, and uh, the color, what is the color? Delft Blue, I think is how you say that. But it's Premier Home Cotton. I had three whole balls of it, and they were um, 140 yards each. I used every bit of the yarn. <laughs> Almost all of it was into this, and then the rest of it I used to make this uh, dishcloth, which I, um, I can't remember the stitch that this is called. But it's where you uh, you double crochet and then single crochet and then double and single all the way down. And then the next row is single crochet, chain one. You make that space. Alright, hold on. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I had to go uh, give Jesse the tablet so that he could change the song he was listening to. Anyways, yeah, what was I saying? That cotton yarn. I used all of it on the bag and this uh, dishcloth completely. Like all three skeins gone. <laughs> so I think that's awesome and an accomplishment. And then the next thing that I worked on yesterday was another little bag. I, um, last year I used a little bag. I think it was called a crochet in public bag. I can't remember who wrote it. But um, I used it to go out on our porch or patio garden and pick, you know, cucumbers and little tomatoes and all that as they grew. But I don't know where that bag went. <laughs> I misplaced it somewhere can't find it and it's almost that time of year again so we already got plants still growing we just you know they're not outside yet it's not time to put them outside so I used another um, ball of cotton yarn that I was gifted and it was similar to this size and it's same brand actually and it's called Willow Yarns Ripples and it is it was 110 yards 65% combed cotton and 35% polyamide made in Turkey and it was like a size uh, three I'm guessing but I made this little bag <laughs> these colors are so pretty and they're not showing the colors that they actually are it's really bright because of the sunlight but it's actually like darker kind of jewelry tones in real life and it's so pretty but I didn't use a pattern for this I just did my own thing all I did was I increased uh, I think I started I started with 12 and I increased up to 60 and then I just started doing V stitches all the way around and did that much. <laughs> I don't even know how many rows. And then I was watching my ball. When it started getting smaller, I decided that's when I was going to go ahead and make the handles. So I started the handles and then I just went until I ran out of yarn. It's slip stitched right there. You can see it. I just kept going and going and going until I ran out of yarn. So that's my little bag that I'm going to use to 
get our stuff out of the garden, uh, the little stuff, <laughs> um, this year, because we're going to be growing, um, different types of peppers, and I'm going to get a cherry tomato plant, maybe aroma tomatoes, um, we're going to have cucumbers, two different types of cucumbers, and, uh, radishes, and okra, I think that's everything, oh, and onions, little, uh, green onions, so, uh, it's going to be my little harvest bag. It's cotton, so I can just wash it easily and not have to worry about it. And, yeah. So, I used a bag kind of like this last year. But, again, I, I misplaced it. And it was acrylic. And I, I just used it. And when it got dirty, I just washed it and, you know, used it again. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I just whipped that up. Again, there's no pattern. And then, the last thing that I made yesterday. <laughs> I was on a kick. <laughs> was, uh, is a face cloth. Because I had this cotton that I got, actually, at the thrift store. My local thrift store. And it's a Hobby Lobby. It's I love this cotton. It has a sticker on there for $2.99 at Hobby Lobby, but it was at my thrift store for $0.99. Cents. And the colorway is Woods Print. It's like a pretty beige color with brown and green speckles throughout it. And uh, I had a whole ball of it. And this is what's left. <laughs> so far, all I've made out of it is this face scrubby. And I just, um, I chained 25, I think, and then I went back and did 24 single crochets. And then in the next row, I single crocheted one, and then I did a, a puff stitch. There's a bunch of birds out there. And then I single crochet two, puffs, two, puff, all the way down. And then on the next row, I went back doing single crochets. And then on the row after that, I went back and instead of doing one single crochet puff, I did three puff, two puff, two puff, two puff, all the way down. So that the puffs aren't in a row up and down they're like in a diagonal row but I, I wanted it to be uh, textured because this is super soft cotton and it is 100% cotton so I could wash my face I said that really weird <laughs> so I could wash my face with it and um, you know it's gentle but also uh, scrubby kind of but yeah so I just so far I've just made the one uh, face cloth but I still have a whole lot of this yarn left I already told you what it was called didn't I it was uh, woods print, and I forgot to tell you the uh, this yarn is called beach towel. <laughs> the color is beach towel, so I thought that's cool. There are some house finches outside my window tweeting, <laughs> but yeah. So that's what I got done yesterday. I got four objects done, and uh, I started on the skein. So I'm gonna try to finish this up, making maybe some more of these, and maybe some of the little round scrubbies. Uh, I was gonna try to make a bag out of this because I like these little bags. They're super handy to have laying around. But then I also got, this is my big basket. This is a Jade and Stitches uh, pattern. It's where you hold like, I think, four strands of worsted together to uh, make it. And it's all variegated yarn that I used. But this is where I got all my cotton yarn. I de a lot of it. And uh, I used some of it. So it's getting pretty low. But I have a bunch of the willow yarn that was gifted to me. These are all willow. <laughs> these two are willow. And these are like finger and weight. And then there's this hank of willow that I want to use. This is, um, what is this called? Sugar or something. Sugar wool cotton from Hobby Lobby. It's yarn bee. And I have a whole cake of green and purple that I'm going to use. And then this is like a uh, half of a cake. I made a doily. It's actually, it's right there. <laughs> you can see it kind of. I made it, it's actually um, a placemat, but I use it as a doily for the fair last year and then I just stuck it over there and what I want to do is I want to use this to make another one and put it maybe on the other table over there and then this one the uh it's purple and green and gray I think about making some um a Swiffer pad cover or two out of this because this is really soft cotton and uh it's thin but yeah that's, that's my plan for that so I'm trying to use up my cotton my little bit of cotton that I have uh hoarded up I didn't use a ton of cotton over this last few months making dishcloths and gifting them to people. So I don't even think I shared a lot of those. But yeah. And so that's why I made this because I only had a little bit of that left. And I'll probably keep this because me and Devin both love using uh, my crochet dishcloths for the dishes. They work better than store bought ones. And I got a ton that I made and I got some that was gifted to me by different people. So that's really cool. And then this is just face cloth, you know. And I do have some of the little... Um, circular face scrubby things I have some that I made and I have some that I was gifted and I just got two more the other day so um but I like having a bunch because then I don't have to wash them constantly I can you know if I have a whole stack of them I can go through the stack and then wash them so it's good to have something on hand and I can also make some to gift people 
and uh yeah so i'm just gonna i'm probably gonna work on this yarn today and pop out some more it's rolling off <laughs> some more dishcloths and stuff and yeah so I, I just wanted to share you get, share that with you guys and i put it all back together uh my plan for this is to use it at the farmer's markets uh this late spring on all summer and into the fall assuming things are back to normal by then because me and Devin love going to the farmers market the one in our town is open on Thursdays and Sundays and the one in the town next to us that we shop a lot at normally is open on Saturday mornings so um and then like pretty much every town around us has a Saturday morning one so we do love going and getting locally grown uh potatoes and corn and cucumbers uh before I grew a ton last year uh okra green beans anything like that and a lot of them have plants that you can like um you know buy actual plants with and there's one person who sells succulents every year and watermelons and tomatoes and just anything you can think of that's grown locally and it's just cool to grow to buy locally grown stuff and plus you're helping that person out because typically at our farmers markets it's usually like older couples that are there selling stuff so um you know i don't know but i assume that they're probably on limited incomes um you know like most of the old folks are are living off of social security or SSI or something so uh, definitely want to try to keep my money local so that I can help local people <laughs> but um, that's why I made this and I might try to make another one uh, I don't I don't think I have enough cotton <laughs> right now unless I make a thin one because this this uh, willow I have three of this kind but two is yellow and one is brown but they're the same type of yarn and it's called willow summer and uh, this one's called sunflower I am seen it yesterday what's this one called hickory and they actually go good together. If I had a dark green, it would be really pretty. But um, I'm not trying to make a thin one because then, you know, because we always we buy a lot of stuff when we go to the farmer's market. I almost always buy like a Walmart bag of corn because people sell them in that size bunches. And we always buy potatoes if there's local potatoes. Devin always wants okra. There's usually people who sell like um, canned foods and jams and stuff. And Devin always gets some of those. <laughs> and then there's people with baked goods. So we always get, you know, cookies and stuff. So we always, we're going to need more than one bag. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm excited about that. One of these days, we want to, when we get a home and a land and we have our big garden, he's yelling, <laughs> I want to, uh, me and Devin both want to start selling stuff at the farmer's market. We think that'd be fun. And maybe even starting up a, a CSA, I think is what it's called, a box maybe, and start if we did really good with our garden. Because in our, in our mind, we want to be self-sufficient gardeners and uh, raise animals for meat and stuff so we want to rely on us for our food mostly then stores and stuff and if we get up to that we can start uh, selling our leftover stuff you know our not leftover but if we you know our overabundance to other people <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say and probably also donate it because we do have a local food bank here and we've donated there before and they mostly take non-perishable items but they do take um, donations from grocery stores of like old older produce and baked goods so I bet they would love fresh produce from farmers but um yeah and everything we do grow outside is organic we don't use pesticides or anything we try to get rid of we have only ever had one issue with bugs and it was uh aphids and we just got rid of them with water because you basically just rinse them off <laughs> and uh they, they'll go away you know they'll go find something else to eat but um yeah so we're trying to keep it clean and organic and uh I want to carry that over when we have a house. But yeah. That was random. <laughs> I'm a random person. And always have been. And always will be. So if you don't like it, I guess you just have to find someone else to watch. But um, I've learned a lot in the last few weeks since all this uh, COVID stuff happened. And it's making me and Devin both see things differently about where our life was going before this as to where it's going to be going after this. But it's in a good way. It's making us realize that we want a different lifestyle than we have right now and it's making us both work harder to get to there and ever since this started um we've been talking a lot about that and our one of our main plans now is uh we have a few bills that we got to get paid off medical bills because the boys were in the er all last year <laughs> and that stuff piles up at least here in the u.s it does um so we are still paying off uh jesse's last last uh March it was, it was a year ago. Uh, Jesse fell and hit his head on the baseboard and cut his head open, had to get staples, we're still paying for that. Jesse broke his arm in June, or July, July last year, the very first day of July. We're still paying for that. 
uh, Jesse also had an allergic reaction and went to the ER again because it was at one in the morning we couldn't go to his regular doctor and his mouth was swelling up so I was afraid he was gonna die <laughs> so we took him to the ER paying for all three of those Devin went to the ER once last year with heart issues and that's before we started getting all his medical stuff figured out which brought in a whole nother load of doctor bills so we do have a lot of medical d bills right now that we are slowly getting rid of but anyways we want to pay them off and we can do it easily between the two of us because we both make decent money and um, we don't live frivolously we don't buy fancy things <laughs> you know I'm, we're home bodies we're home most of the time we do like to go on trips but we don't go on big trips we usually go to local places and we always pay cash for those. We don't um, go into debt for anything like that because that's just stupid. But anyways, what we want to do is we're going to start after we get our medical bills paid off, which will hopefully be by the end of this year, assuming all this stuff <laughs> goes away soon about the uh, virus. And we're going to save up and we're going to buy some land. And then we're going to have a mini, we call them mini not sheds here. <laughs> they're, they're called mini barns and stuff and other places. We call them mini not sheds because around here, the mini night people are the ones who build them. Uh, we're going to purchase one of those for our land and live in that until we build a house. And uh, that's our goal for the next two years. We're wanting to go hardcore and get that little bit of bills out of the way and buy land we want to own the land before we move on to it so that we don't have to worry about it so if anything else like this happens you know right now we're living in an apartment and uh, you know we have to pay rent and all that but in the future we're hoping to own our land and then own the place that we live on on said land whether it's that building or a house after we get it built and um, hopefully have solar panels and stuff like that so that we can not have to rely so much on other people to keep us okay during situations like this and that's it's almost it's not i'm not saying it's a good thing that this happened but it's definitely an eye opener for us it's pushing us towards our goals a uh, lot harder than we were going before because we've always talked about this me and him's been together for seven years and if we had went this hardcore five years ago four years ago we could potentially already be on our own little homestead right now but we kept putting it off and doing other things you know and um now we're kind of struggling we're not struggling bad you know we're gonna be fine through all this but i hate the idea of having to uh, eventually sign up for unemployment if devin's hours get cut so far it hasn't but everybody else that he works with has been laid off it's literally just him and a couple other people still working and uh, we're lucky for that but you know he could get laid off next week for all we know and uh i just don't want to have to live off the government any more than i have to and i know there's so many other people who are struggling so i think if we can do this, then maybe if another thing like this happens in the future, we can be perfectly fine and not have to worry about anything. Plus, we'd be able to help other people, um, not just family and friends, but maybe even perfectly, you know, perfect strangers. And uh, yeah, I just blabbed a lot about that, <laughs> but I like talking and I haven't been able to see anybody in forever other than my husband and my son. And um, it kind of gets old talking to the same person all the time, but uh, yeah, so. We are self-quarantining or whatever it's called, self-isolating. I did go to the store today because we had to get some things, but um, you know, we haven't gone anywhere. Even my orders, when I get them, I package them up and I take them to either the post office and drop them off or to, if they're small enough, like today I had three of the little bags. So I was able to put them in just um, the big blue mailboxes. So we're just staying home. <laughs> Me and, De me and Jesse go outside like it's been pretty the last few days we go outside and play for a little while but if some of the other neighbors start coming out with their kids we go back inside because <laughs> uh you know I just don't want to risk me and Jesse getting sick um because of neighbors who you know might have it for all we know because a lot of people have it and don't even know it um be you can be a recessive carrier and not be sick and then give it to someone and they get super sick or even die so we're being really cautious and um Right now, our biggest threat to our family would probably be Devin because he, him going to work and, you know, coming home. So, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully nothing bad happens, but, uh, I don't know. I feel like this should peak eventually and then start getting better. And it came on pretty much out of the blue, so I'm hoping that maybe it leaves the same way it came out of the blue. And I'm also hoping that it's like, uh the swine flu because when it first came it was really bad and people were dying and then now every year after that it comes and it's just like a regular cold uh flu type thing so hopefully this is the same way or it just goes away and never comes back period <laughs> that'd be great but yeah so i just wanted to catch up with you guys i hope you all are, are doing well and i hope you guys are not going too crazy 
being at home. I didn't think I was an extrovert, but um, I'm kind of not lucky not being able to go out. Uh, we used to go to like Walmart and just walk around for like an hour just looking at everything and you know we can't do that now. And um, we like to go to the aquarium and the zoo and all that and Jesse's been asking and asking to go to the aquarium. So after all this is over we're going to have to go to the aquarium. And um, it just kind of sucks being stuck at home. But I did get to catch up on Little House on Prairie. I finally finished the whole series again. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm watching the last episode right now. Um, the last pharaoh and it's where they they destroy the town i hate that episode but i've only watched it like once in my whole life so i'm trying to watch it to uh you know just to have watched it again i just finished the episode where albert was sick um what's it called i can't remember what that one's called i just watched it but it's the one where he has leukemia <laughs> But yeah, so I gotta find a new show to, to binge watch. I'm looking at our DVDs. I got Roseanne, the whole series, um, which I love. And I know all the stuff that happened and she got canceled and all that. But I don't care about her political opinions. I love the show, so I'm gonna watch the show. So uh, I might start watching that again. I think it's the only show I own on DVD. And I'm kind of over Netflix and all that because everything's, I've done watched everything on there. And I was trying to watch that documentary a lot of people were talking about where that little boy got killed, but I just couldn't handle it. It's a lot different now that I have a little boy. So, uh, I watched a couple episodes of it and then I had to quit because I just, I just can't. And I can't, I don't understand how so many people knew what was going on and didn't do anything. That's so stupid. But anyways, I don't want to talk about that because it's negative. But yeah, I've been decluttering, so that's a good thing. I actually, this morning I cleaned up everything. Um, cleaned the kitchen, cleaned my office, cleaned the living room. It doesn't look clean because I have a toddler, but I guess a preschooler. I gotta quit calling him a toddler. <laughs> And I did laundry yesterday. I want to get into this closet and clean it out really good. I'm, I'm trying to wait for Devin to get laid off. He's supposed to, they keep telling him he's going to get laid off and he still has it, which is good. He's still earning checks. But, um, you know, we were going to take advantage of him being home <laughs> to do stuff and he's not been home. But um, he will be. I keep thinking I hear Jesse, but I don't think he's coming. He's being good. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't know what else to update you guys on. I guess it's everything. I've been talking for 23 minutes and this is a random video, so. But yeah, I'm still working on my weight loss. I kind of slacked off this last week because I was getting a little depressed because of everything. But I picked back up yesterday and started doing good. And I did a 40 something minute exercise or workout. And then I did, I also walked yesterday evening. Uh, it was over a mile. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I walked for uh, like 40 minutes. And um, I'm just, I, I was getting bummed out and I was like, you know what, I don't even care. I'm just going to eat what I want to eat and not worry about it because, you know, times is hard. But then I was like, no, I'm not either because I just lost 30 pounds. I'm not going to gain that back and have to lose it all over again. So I'm going to, you know, pick myself up and give myself a good shake and, <laughs> and be like, okay, do the work. It's not that hard. All I got to do is work out and eat good. It's not that difficult. And we were stocked up on food because me and Devin stocked up and then... The other day, Devin's dad came over <laughs> and brought us a bunch of stuff that he got for us. And, um, but he found potatoes, so I was super excited about that. I haven't been able to find potatoes, but he brought us a big old, like one of those big 10 pound bags of potatoes. So I'm excited about that. I love potatoes. I will never do a diet where I can't eat potatoes because if I can't eat potatoes, I will fail. <laughs> potatoes are my most favorite thing in the world. I could like, if I had them, I could probably eat them three times a day and be happy with it. Every meal could have a potato with it and I'm good. Yeah, I love potatoes. <laughs> But yeah, probably why I'm overweight to begin with. But yeah, I am down. Um, last time I weighed was 207, which is the lowest I've been in a long time <laughs> since before I was pregnant. And um, I haven't gotten any new pants, and I don't plan on buying any new pants for a while. But my current pants that I wear that are size 18s are super huge on me. Uh, I'm probably in a size 14 right now. I just can't. I'm not going to buy any until I absolutely have to. And I do want to keep one pair of my size 18s for comparison in the future. But my other ones, I think I'm going to, um, what's it called? <laughs> I'm going to like fold it and sew it so that they fit my waist. They're probably still baggy in my legs and butt area, which I hate because it makes that noise when you walk. But, um, you know, I don't care. People might see me and think I'm frumpy, but they don't know that I just worked my butt off for three months to lose 30 pounds. So I'm proud of that. Even if people don't see that, I'm proud of that. drinking a Capri Sun I heard it the air noise <laughs> but yeah so I don't 
don't care if my pants make weird noises. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Try to lose some more weight and buy new clothes when all this is over. And I can spend money on clothes because right now we're hoarding every penny for um, in case Devin does go out of work. I know that unemployment uh, is a thing and that they're upping it and that they're supposed to be doing the stimulus and all that stuff. But uh, I still want to have as much money on hand as we can have on hand um, in case this lasts a really long time. You know, no one knows how long it's going to last. Hopefully it doesn't last long, but who knows? But yeah, I guess that's everything. I'm going to stop talking now because it's been 26 minutes and it's going to take forever for this video to upload. But uh, I will see you guys in another video. I do want to do some more tutorials, but like with Jesse and Devin home a lot, I can't really do anything. <laughs> and I'm not sending Jesse to my mom's until all this is over because I don't want... Because for all we know, we could have it and be recessive and we could go to her house and end up killing her. <laughs> so I don't want to do that. We're just going to all stay here and so... If I make some more appliques and all that, I'll just have to wait until the future to record the tutorials. Or if Devin does get off work, I could send him outside with Jesse and uh, film him. But yeah, I'm trying to design a few more patterns. And I do have a bunch of bags that I'm going to be cutting. And Well, I've already started cutting them. I just, I'm not rushing to get them out. Right now, I'll probably start sewing next week and then get them out maybe by next weekend. And it's going to be project bags. I don't know if they'll all have notion pouches or not because I'm working with... Um, bits and pieces of material that a friend of mine sent me and so not all of them have the set, the right amount of material to make a notion pouch that matches but some of them do so there'll be um, larger project bags with and without notion pouches there'll be notion pouches by themselves I might try to make some more crab bags and I'm also going to have some project bags that are going to be smaller than my normal size because I'm just trying to use up all that fabric and um, I went through my stash of fabric and I found some more that I can use and I'm pretty much down to just uh, random prints like uh, florals and stuff so not this update but the, ep the update after this might just be nothing but florals <laughs> because I've been hoarding my florals because um, I don't really prefer floral patterns so I just keep them I don't always pick them out to make bags with so I'm gonna have to do that eventually and then there's gonna be a bunch of floral patterns <laughs> but I'm sure some people like them but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and try to get this edited and up today. Today is the 27th. It's a Friday. And I'll see you guys in the next video whenever that is. <laughs> Bye, guys.